What is up guys? Today we're gonna do the review of Mainstays Orno this in Spanish, I'm pretty sure. Four slice toaster oven. Um this is in Spanish, so it's Orno Tostar Dora de Cuatro Rebanadas. Rebanadas is obviously toaster. Tostada is toaster, my bad. Rebanadas is oven. So, you got an indicator light here. Bakes, broils, toasts here. You see the knob? We're going to open it up right now, so stay tuned. Don't don't click off. Stay on option, 30-minute timer, so, and you got the watch right here. So, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, damn. I've dropped something fell back here. Oh, my damn. Onion. My onions in my old stuff. All right, so let's open it up, and let's review it. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out links in the description as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, Jared333. Number one, I've got TikTok going on, Instagram, Facebook, everything Jared333. All right. So, let's open it up. Oh, let's go. Yes. So, I got mine for only 20 bucks at Walmart. I don't know where you guys got yesterday. I'm hoping you didn't get ripped off. They're not very expensive items, so you got it more for like 25. You might want to return and get something, get your money back, get get one for less expensive. Okay, let me pull this out. What was that? Okay, that was a the thing. It's brand new as hell. Man, it looks pretty cool. Okay, let me get all the stickers and stuff off real quick. So here it is, guys. Check it out. And it also has a glass. This is made out of glass. It's pretty thick glass as well. You can see here. Pretty decent size inside. We have on mode. Lights. Uh, stay. And then obviously the timer right here. Light mode medium light medium dark and then broil bake up here so i'm gonna bake on mine because i'm gonna do a quick review on, on here i'm gonna i got a pizza over there in the little mini fridge let me take a picture for the thumbnail real quick okay y'all you also have the manual in here if you know how to use if you want to use it i don't like using manuals because there's some booze you're talking and then you have the pieces for the oven so obviously this one goes inside. You can put it on any one of these layers here. You see these little um, indentions? You can put it on either any one, depending on the size of your food. So I'm putting mine down there because you know it just seems like you have more space up here. And then you could put some. You could put this also on a separate. You don't have to. You could just put whatever you're making on here. Um, and you don't even really have to use this. If you want, you can just use this part here and place whatever you want on this part, which is what I'm gonna do. And make sure you save this, guys, because you might never know if you want to use it for something baking, something like that. All right, so we got the toaster oven here. Let's turn it on. All right, cool, the little power button came on. And then this is where you can see, oh, let, me, let me focus, okay. You can see the little, there's a little thing right here. You see it? This is what you want to be on. I want it on bake. See what I'm saying? Bake. So then, when you have it on bake, here's your stay time. How long? This is 10 minutes, up to 30 minutes. Hold on, let me get that. All right, I turned the flashlight off on the camera. You guys can see the bottom. It's heating up from the bottom right there. There's a there's the, the piece that warms it up. So let me go ahead and cut the pizza. All right, guys, so we have a pretty good-sized pizza here, so I'm going to try to cut into a square. All the pepperonis fell on this side because when I was carrying it out of all these, um, basically, they went, you know, I had it sideways. So I'm going to try to fit it into this little square piece right here. All right. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and share the videos. We do food reviews, food videos all the time, and sometimes we do videos on items, reviews, and unboxing like this one. Yo. I tried to cut it a square, but I couldn't find the knife, 
and I added some uh, pieces of mushroom. So there it is. Let's try this out, you guys. I'm excited. Put it right here. And then we'll wait. What in the hell? Okay, so that one, I guess, is not even... See this one right here, guys? It has a thing. You can't put this, or I guess the rack either in there, because got a little stoppy thingy. <laughs> okay, let's put the timer on. Let's turn it on. So right now, it's, I think it's on 30 minutes or more. We got on bake. So we're baking it. And we got it on bake. You can turn it on to the grease instead if you want. So like I give I like putting mine on 330 is the magic baking number. So if you put on broil, what that's gonna do is gonna cook the top. The one on the top is gonna go on. I don't want to cook the top yet, so I wanna stay it on leave it on the bottom one. That's the difference between bake and broil. You wanna keep it on the bottom. And then here, here's a timer, light, medium, dark. Leave it on all the way for maximum time capacity. All right, guys, here it is. In all of its stupendous glory. You gotta be careful with this because it's gonna be hot. I waited a few oh, seconds, minutes, whatever. Let's try this out. Oh yeah, this is done. All right, guys, I just took this out. Let's try this out. Oh yeah. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Wow. I highly recommend this little oven, guys. Like, subscribe, and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you guys. The best channel on